Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and selamat sejahtera. Now is the time to test your understanding and knowledge in this topic. Topical exercise 1. If it is beneficial, please subscribe, like and share. Topical exercise 1. Perniagaan Mega reports the following information in the statement of financial position as at 31st December 2019. Accounts receivable 1 million. Deduct allowance for doubtful debt 60,000. Following are the transactions related to accounts receivable for Perniagaan Mega for the year 2020. Credit sales 2.6 million. Receipt from accounts receivable 2.3 million, bad debt write off 65,000, and bad debt recovery 25,000. Requirements A. Record the above transactions in general journal, and B. Show the adjustment ledger of bad debt expenses on 31st December 2020. If the allowance is set on 5% of the balance of accounts receivable. For question A, number 1, credit sales 2.6 million. The journal entry is debit accounts receivable 2.6 million and credit sales 2.6 million. Narration. To record a credit sales. For transaction 2, receipt from accounts receivable 2.3 million. The journal entry is debit cash 2.3 million and credit accounts receivable 2.3 million. Narration to record a cash receipt. Transaction 3, bad debt write off 65,000. Since the company uses the allowance method, then the journal entry is debit allowance for doubtful debt 65,000 and credit accounts receivable 65,000. Narration to record accounts receivable written off. How do you know? It uses the allowance method. Please refer to the question that is accounts for AFDD allowance for doubtful debt in financial position. Transaction 4 bad debt recovery 25,000. There are two journals to record bad debt recovery. There are first debit accounts receivable 25,000 and credit bad debt recovery 25,000. Narration to record bad debt recovery. And secondly, debit cash 25,000 and credit accounts receivable 25,000. Narration to record a cash receipt. To answer question B, that is channel entry for bad debt expenses, firstly you have to calculate the accounts receivable balance or accounts receivable carry forward equals to 1 million that you get from the financial position plus 2.6 million that is from transaction 1 minus 2.3 million from transaction 2 minus 65,000 from transaction 3 and plus 25,000 minus 25,000 from transaction 4. So the answer is 1,235,000 for accounts receivable carry forward. 
and then you calculate the allowance for doubtful debt balance. That is the accounts for allowance for doubtful debt carry forward. Equals to 5% multiply with accounts receivable carry forward that is 1,235,000 equals to RM61,750. To calculate the bad debt expenses, as usual, firstly, draw a T account for allowance for doubtful debt. And then, fill in the balance brought forward, 60,000, that is from the financial position. Accounts receivable, 65,000 from the transaction before and fill in the balance carry forward that is 61,750 that we just calculate and you balance the accounts left and right 126,750 and then there is a missing figure 66,750 that is the bad debt expenses. And then, record into journals, debit, bad debt expenses, 66,750, and credit allowance for doubtful debt, 66,750. The narration, to record the bad debt expenses. I hope that you can do the topical exercise 1 and there are one more exercise that is topical exercise 2 on the next video. And don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you. See you soon.